Hey guys, just wanted to show you how to apply um, dolomite if the uh, bedding is getting a little bit acidic or just as a prevention to it getting acidic. Uh, we often refer to the um, lime type things as a buffer or a pH buffer. Um, basically what it means is the, um, uh, the materials we add react with acidic bedding or with acidity I suppose you should say um, and neutralize it and they actually stop working or stop dissolving once the pH becomes neutral again so whatever is um, uh, still left in the bedding stays in the bedding um, and it, uh, basically in that way you can't add within reason you can't add too much of a buffer um, so um, uh, it's best to maybe err on the side of a little bit too much um, your common buffers are garden lime uh, do not use hydrated lime or slaked lime um, so it's uh, garden lime which is basically crushed limestone or dolomite or um, we also use um, zeolite um, which has uh, got some different qualities it has got a, a slight amount of um, buffering capacity and, and I also like to use it just for basic grit um, so how you would apply dolomite um, is, is uh, basically you could just shake it off a spoon or whatever I've just got so many farms it's just easier to make up a, a shaker like this out of an old Gatorade container um, so basically I always say just basically shake it over the bedding like you're flowering a board for for um, rolling dough on the kitchen bench um, if your bedding's too moist and you don't want to add water um, you basically just um, agitate it into the soil a little bit um, if the uh, if, you, if you need to add water to your bedding um, anyway then you can um, basically just um, water the, the dolomite in um, the zeolite's just the same sorry wrong one uh, the dollar one's just the same and so I've just got a shaker made up for, for the ZO as well it's basically a crushed red rock so it's like a red dust um, again I would just agitate that into the soil a bit or, or water and, and if I'm going to put water in so the worms don't run across some um, dry particles of um, especially the uh, lime type of things um, I've read that um, their skin's very sensitive and they don't like running across things like that um, so that's basically how you apply the lime. Um, quick uh, show off here. Um, the, uh, that's the sort of worm density I'm getting through the new 50-50 um, shredded cardboard and, and uh, um, aged grass that I've been using. Um, this is all a, a pile of the, the new bedding that I put in through the... This is a mainly African nightcrawler breeding farm. Um, so there you go. Thanks very much for watching the video.